Backyard Farming, Florida, Saturday, April the 11th. Outside uh, garden's doing pretty good. See the little tomatoes that we a little bit better shot of those. They're looking kind of puny compared to the um, earth box. And my hydroponic system, uh, the three uh, tomato plants uh, survived the night and uh, got my newest challenge now is I have a extremely high temperature inside this uh, greenhouse that I need to deal with. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, the pH which I mentioned uh, before it was a little high and I had some muriatic acid uh, so I went ahead and I knew a minuscule amount of that uh, would have a dramatic effect on uh, 25 gallons of, of water. So I ran a little test outside and just filled up a five gallon bucket of well water and uh, found that uh, <clears throat> the water right out of the well was, uh, was running about 8 0. So I went ahead and uh, put one teaspoon. And the erratic acid in there and it, it brought it down to six. So I'm not advocating that uh, that you use muriatic acid uh, particularly if you're not comfortable with it. Um, this particular product that I'm using is looks like 31 percent hydrochloric acid so it's extremely uh, extremely corrosive and powerful and as it turned out, um, I was able to bring uh, my solution down to 6O with three teaspoons of, of this particular uh, muriatic acid. Obviously, there's a lot of other safer products you can buy, but this is a lifetime supply uh, for, for what I'll be doing, uh, one gallon. Uh, uh, would uh, last you forever, and you're talking about three bucks maybe for a gallon of this stuff. The other issue right now that I have to do something about very quickly is the inside temperature here. I even put a little rinky dink fan that I've got here um, pushing, and I turn the reverse the flow of the other two fans so they're pushing out. Uh, it's now five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, inside temperature 102 degrees. The nutrient solution it says it's 79 degrees. So here are the three the three tomato plants. They seem to seem to be doing pretty good, probably because the, uh, I'm guessing, the, the nutrients are not that hot. I'm looking for a solution here. I'm uh, going to have to come up with some kind of a cooling scheme to, uh, to bring the temperatures down. Uh, I want to try to achieve, uh, you know, a maximum maybe of 90, 90 degrees or so. So I'm looking for looking for some uh, advice here.